Hey guys, it's Joe with JoeTheAndroidGuy.com, and today I've got a, uh, a Nook color that I want to show you, but if you take a look right down here, this is not a Nook color like you're familiar with. In fact, let me tip it up here. This is a Nook color running Cyanogen Mod 7. To show you, we've got menu button and back button up here since there's none down here at the bottom like on a traditional Android. So we'll go ahead and tap that button up there see if we can get the uh, settings to come up. Just like normal, you've got a menu bar across the bottom. So we'll go ahead and go into settings. Now from here, scroll down to about tablet. It's not about phone because this is a, a tablet now. And see if we can get that to come up. This was performing a bit better for me uh, before I started <laughs> recording. So don't take that uh, as any kind of a indicator. But if we look right in here, see if I can zoom in a little bit, this is running Android 2.3.3, the latest version of Gingerbread. It is also running the Cyanogen Mod 7 nightly, uh, it looks like from March 13th. Go ahead and use the back button, there are Cyanogen Mod settings. I just overclocked this to 925 through the performance option here. We're going to go ahead and set that back just because this is not my uh, my nook color and available governors minimum maximum frequency so we're going to go ahead and set the maximum back to 800 which is where it was we're going to uncheck set it boot again where it was and then we're going to go back home using the nook button and you can see it's pretty responsive all kinds of neat right there if we go into the app drawer very quick lots of stuff right in there they've done a really good job in my opinion translating this over onto the the tablet tablet uh, platform especially since this is a nook this is a an ebook reader not a uh, a true tablet per se uh, that again a uh, cyanogen mod rom has been installed on so Really kind of cool what you can do with Android and some good hardware. Now, they just enabled Bluetooth on this. Uh, it's got very limited range. I think that's because although there is a Bluetooth chip inside uh, the device itself, uh, I don't think there's an antenna. So you only have about 16 inches of range on it right now, but they're working on that. So really, really kind of cool. So all kinds of neat stuff for JoeTheAndroidGuy.com. I'm Joe.